Welcome to Run It Up the Flagpole with Jake and Cody. I'm Jake. And I'm Cody. So, Cody, in this video, we wanted to go over how to use our freight rater. I get a lot of questions from customers, you know, asking, okay, where do I put the origin zip code in? Um, what do these classes mean? How do I, you know, estimate freight for multiple poles? Um, so I was hoping we might be able to go through that today so they have something to refer to. Yeah, Jake, we can do that right now. Awesome. Go ahead and show you this here. So in front of you here, you have the Concord American flagpole homepage, and that's where we're going to get to this information. And that's your home screen. Yep, that's my home screen on uh, all my computers, even personal. Mm. Uh, makes it easier to do this right here. Uh, first, we go to our resources tab and go to online freight quotes. Click there. From here, you'll be led on to the instant freight quotes online. Hit shipping quotes link. And that brings you to here. Now, here you have where you have to put in an access code. All of our dealers get their own unique identifier so that they're able to log in and use the system. It's not an open source system. All right. So it, I was going to say, if a customer isn't set up on this yet, um, they can just reach out to us and we'll get them set up here. Yeah, they can give us a call, shoot us an email. Even if they forgot their access code, we can help them. OK, I'll go ahead and put in mine here. and get us to the next screen. All right, now that we're all logged in, this is where we actually do all of the information that we need for the freight rater, starting with origin zip and destination zip. Yeah, so that's the first question I get is, um, I don't always know where you're gonna ship my order from, um, so how do I estimate where it's gonna ship from for freight quoting? Um, so what do we do here when a customer asks for that? Okay, so we are going to have the origin zip be the closest warehouse out of the three warehouses we have to the yeah. destination zip. So we have locations in Texas, Minnesota, and Virginia. Yeah. Um, and let's say we're shipping something to South Dakota. Okay, uh, that zip code is 57785. Because we all know that zip code off the top of our heads. It's where my beach house is. Um, oh. And the closest place to that is Minnesota, which would be 55121. So we have our origin zip and our destination zip set. Next, we have to do our classes. Quick cheat sheet is down here, but I'll go over it real fast for you. The class 200 is for your flagpole shafts. For class 70, that's the hardware, the hardware box. It has your truck and your ball and everything else. And then 50 would be for ground sleeves? Yep, class 50 is ground sleeves. Okay. So in this instance, shipping to my beach house in South Dakota, we would be doing a 30 by 5 by 156 Continental, and I'll go ahead and put the weights in there. That's 109 pounds for the shaft, 9 pounds for the parts box, and 29 pounds for the ground sleeve. Yeah, and if we so let's assume that every dealer doesn't know our catalogs, weights, you know, up, downs, and sideways like you would. Where would oh, they get this information? Uh, they would go on to our Designer 2.0, which is also found on the Concord American Flagpole homepage and be right. able to get that information from there. Yeah, those cut sheets have all those weights on them. OK, so if they use the designer, then they could just plug in the weights they have on our Raider. Correct. OK, um, so that brings the second question is, what do we do with multiple poles? So if I wanted two poles, uh, I only see boxes for one you know, set of a pole with the hardware box and the sleeve. So what do I do there? Yeah, so the good part about this rater is, is there's no length or dimension involved or quantity. So with just having the weights, all you need to do is take the weights for each of those individual classes and add them together. In instance, if I was putting two 30 foot by five continental poles on this, I would just change the weight to 218 to signify the weight of those shafts. Okay, that makes sense. And then if all this information is correct, um, I will honor this price regardless, right? I mean, how do we verify that this information was put in? Oh, as long as the origin and zip location and everything else is good to go, even if this were to ship from Texas, we will mm -hmm. still keep the quote that gets created when we hit the rate shipment button. Oh, okay. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And there you go, that fast. Your cost is going to be right here under MC floor. So 383.48 is going to be the cost to ship that pole from Minnesota to South Dakota. 
Okay. And then I, you mentioned it. Um, I think we were talking yesterday about this, just having some kind of a snag it or a, a picture of this charge so we can verify the information is correct. You'll send that in with a PO um, and we'll honor that freight charge. Yeah, a screenshot works, a snip works. As long as you're attaching this information in the email with your purchase order, we will use this. No issues. As long as the information is filled out correctly. That's great. And it, I mean, you did this in two minutes without having to talk to anybody else. Um, so you could just do these at any point in time, like on your phone or at the office at home. Um, there's really, I mean, you could just quote free from anywhere without having to wait on somebody else. Yeah, that's the best part about this. You never have to put the phone down to give a customer their free quote. That's awesome. Um, well, thanks for showing me this, Cody. Um, and next time anyone else needs to run up the flagpole, I'm Jake. That's Cody. Um, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Get up. All right, come on. Is that, that not bad? That's it. We're done. And you can do that anywhere. Well, that's all the time we... <laughs> <laughs>